I'm sorry, but it's cool. All right, great. Great, good evening, Camila. How are you? Hello, Camilla, can you hear me? Hi, hey, Heather. Samuel, how are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you today? Very nice, I'm ready. Hi. Good, good, that's great. It's good to hear, very good. How about yeah. you, Camilla, how are you? Hi, hi, fine, I'm fine. I, I have a problem with my camera. <laughs> with your camera? Okay. Yeah, all right, I understand. Hello, Alida, welcome back. Hello. How are you? I'm um, good. Great, that's good to hear. Well, let's uh, wait just uh, for one more minute. I think your classmates are uh, joining soon. So yes, all right, yeah, coming up. All right, very good. So welcome one more time. And uh, in today's lesson, we are going to discuss adverb clauses, okay? We will work on adverb clauses uh, like uh, this one, so I will show you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing all right. It's great to have you again. Yes, yeah, so ooh, that's at least five of us. Okay, great, great. Very good, Andrea. So, uh, yeah, now that everybody is here, let's begin. Hey, um, have you guys posted on the on the platform? Ya comenzaron a poner sus sus comentarios en en la plataforma. I think there, there are a couple of yes. assignments there. Yeah, you yes, have? Yes, I do. Okay, no, great, yet. great. So if you don't have access yet, uh, maybe you can do it later. Yes, yes, Please, yes. Uh, try to try to do your best, okay? So yes, it's uh, great to have you one more time. Let's get started. So uh, yeah, in today's lesson, we are going to talk about uh, adverb clauses, okay? Yesterday we talked about uh, what's its name? Uh, yeah, we talked about uh, we talked about present perfect. Now we'll work on adverb clauses. All right, great. So look at this. So for example, for example, some examples of uh, adverb clauses can be like this. And let me show you in my screen. Look at this. All right, so these are some examples of adverb clauses. And uh, please let me ask uh, Samuel, Sam, can you read uh, the beginning of this? Uh, can you read this, uh, the headline? of the chart, please. Adverb clauses. Mm, don't show the slide. Is it? It's a PDF. Can you see it now? Let me do it again. I don't see the slide. We, we can see the slide. Uh, all right, let me do it again. All right. How about now? Can you see it? 
No. No yet. Not yet. Is Not it? Why, Jesus? Why is it that you can't see it? Let me try in a different way. It's, Anyways, we are using uh, we are using the manual today. We are on page. Uh, we're on uh, page fifteen, just for reference. And uh, yeah, let me let me try to show you my screen in a different way. Just give me a second. Can you see it now? Not yet. Not yet. No. We can say the presentation. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, okay. I'll give you my. Now, now. No, now. You can. <sighs> yes. Okay. Jesus Christ. Thank you. So, well, let's begin. So, uh, Sam, can you read it, please? Look at the example in the box, mm -hmm. then complete the exercise below. All right, good. Adverb clause, introduced by before, after, signs, and while, can be reduced to modifying adverb clause. Okay, great. So first, uh, the first adverb phrase. clause. Phrase. All right, thank you. Uh, Alayda, can you read that, please? After. Okay. Adverb clause? Yes, adverb okay. clause. Yeah, that's Ad, right. After we can do a show, as, uh, no, pardon, a swap analysis, mm -hmm. we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Okay, great. Thank you very, thank you very Richard, much. Excuse me. Yes. What's the meaning SWOT? Oh, SWOT analysis. We will cover tomorrow. It's uh, it's a product development uh, process. That's uh, that's what uh, SWOT is. Is this one? It's like uh, in in Spanish we have a a, a FODA. Do you know the FODA in Spanish? Okay. Yes. Yeah. What what does FODA stand for? Do you remember F? Stands for, do you remember? You guys remember? More or less. Um, yeah. Fortalezas. Fortalezas. Yeah, F stands for fortalezas. O stands for? O. Oportunidades. Oportunidades. Yeah, and uh, D stands for? Debilidades. Yep. Weakness. And uh, A stands for? A stands for amenazas, threats, threats, amenazas. Yeah, threats. good. So that's uh, that's uh, that's what the SWOT is about. Okay, okay. great. So yeah, let's let's work on that. So yeah, let's continue here. So after uh, after we conduct uh, SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or to stop the project. Or you can also say this. Uh, Beatrice, can you read this one, please? Oh, wait, you are mute. No, you aren't. Please, can you read it again? Uh, uh, pardon. It's okay. After con conducting? Yes. Uh, SWOT. SWOT analysis, we will now where to go on our start with this project. Okay, great. So uh, look, we can uh, we can uh, use two types of phrases. We can use uh, one with this infinitive, like after we conduct an uh, SWOT analysis or after conducting. 
So that's how you make uh, these phrases. All right. So uh, let's make more examples. All right. Let's make more examples here. So let's uh, let me show you more on uh, the board. And now we'll make some about companies. All right. So look at it. Look at look at this. Here we have more uh, more statements about uh, companies that uh, that probably didn't work or that probably didn't succeed much. So look here we ha here we have uh, my whiteboard and let's uh, right. So for example, uh, after uh, launching launching. Uh, do you remember this product, Cheetos, uh, Cheetos uh, lip, uh, lip balm? After uh, launching Cheetos uh, lip balm, what can we say about it? After launching Cheetos uh, lip balm, people try them, for example, right? So we go like after uh, launching. Uh, our product, we will see the results. Okay, that's a, that's one example. Or we can also type another here, like uh, for example, this one. Okay, look. For example, after five years. Five years operating, Uber launched. What did Uber launch after some years of operating? Do you remember what's Uber's uh, new product? Uber, after five years of operating, Uber launched. Mm, do you remember? Uber Eats. Yeah, oh. Uber launch, Uber Eats. Okay. Great, so they, this is how it works, all right? Or you can also, you can also say this. You can also uh, write the phrase differently with a subject like this, for example. After Uber launched, uh, after Uber, let me see. After Uber launched, sorry. After Uber launched, uh, Uber Eats, they uh, they increase they increase their income. Hey, can you give me more examples of other products or other companies or others, other things that you remember about? So let's uh, share more examples, please, of uh, any other product, any other company, or it, it can be about yourself too. So for example, you can talk about yourself too. Look at this. After... I have lunch. I usually take a nap. What about you? We're just practicing form here. After taking, uh, after having lunch, I usually have a nap or take a nap rather. Take a nap. Hey, what about you? I want you to please give me more examples. So let's, uh, let's do that. I want more examples from you. So, uh, Lily, can you give me more examples uh, like this? You can use after or before. I'm so sorry, teacher, but I have no clear the idea. Uh, you're you're not clear on, on what we're doing. That's not okay. Yet. Not yet. No, okay, that's okay. Uh, how about you? Let's ask uh, Mario. What about you? Can you give us an example? I, 
I think you you ask me, for example, uh, after the breakfast, I take a glass of water. Okay, so after breakfast, all right, good. After breakfast, I have a glass of water. All right, good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Hey, now let's continue. Hey, let's use the word before and make some examples. So let, uh, let's ask Jonathan to give us uh, some examples using the word before. Before I see, I see the, the I see a movie. I see a movie. Yeah. And I. What do you do? I own. I own. I own. I own the TV. I turn oh, on oh, the TV. TV. That's great. That's great. It's a good example. Very good. Very good. Hey, let's ask for more. Let's ask for more examples. What about you, uh, Maria? Maria, can you think of another example? Yes. Um, before I take a bath, I'll, um, I usually uh, um, take a cup of coffee. All right, I usually have, I usually have. I usually have. A cup of coffee. That's great. That's a good example. Hey, you guys, look. Uh, look, uh, rem let's, uh, let's just remember some expressions here. Uh, we use uh, with uh, have. Have is, uh, we usually use have for when we talk about eating or drinking, or food in mm -hmm. general, or a meal. So we use, uh, for example, have lunch, have lunch, uh, breakfast, and uh, dinner. Uh, also, we use, also we use uh, have for, uh, for foods, as I said before, like for example, have, uh, a donut. Have a donut, or you can also use it for drinks. Have a coffee. A Coke. Mm -hmm. A Coke, yes. All right, good. So we use have for those, uh, for those, uh, for those words, all right? That's good. Those, those were good examples. Hey, Romulo, what about you? Can you give us uh, some examples here, please? Before I go to sleep, I yeah. drink glass of water. All right, good. So before, before I go to sleep. All right, look, in English, we say go to bed, okay? So... Before I go to bed, I have a glass of water. I have a glass of water. Okay. All right, so before I go to sleep or before I go to bed, I have a glass of water. These are awesome examples. They're, they're very good. They're very good. So, uh, hey, so far, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go back to Lily. Lily, can you give us an example now? Okay. Um, let me see. After to take a breakfast, I have to drink a coffee first. Okay. All right. So you drink a coffee before breakfast. Yes, it is. On an empty stomach. Really? Okay. So before <laughs> I uh -huh. have breakfast, I uh -huh. have a coffee. You said right. Coffee before breakfast on an empty stomach. Good example. <laughs> you know, you know, my 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 grandmother does that. My my grandmother does that. She uh she has a coffee 
before breakfast on an empty stomach. Okay, como en ayunas. We say on an empty stomach. Empty stomach. Eso significa como en ayunas. All right, just, yeah. But it's very good to wake up. To wake yeah. Up. Yeah, that's, it, it gives you a lot of energy. It sure does. So, it's a caffeine. Yeah. It's caffeine. Yeah, we all need caffeine. Great, great, very good. So uh, let's continue checking more examples here. All right. Let's, uh, can you see my screen or do you see the board? What are you seeing there? The board. The board? Okay. Yes. Let's, let's stop using the board now. Let's stop using okay. the board now. And uh, let's look in uh, on the screen. Let's look at the screen here. So, so right here, look at this, look at this. So uh, let's ask uh, Mario. Mario, can you read this, please? To reduce an adverb clause. Okay. To reduce an adverb clause to a phrase with the following. Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. If the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it. If the clause has any other verb differences from be, add ing. Okay, great. So uh, if the clause has a form of the verb be, we just eliminate it. And uh, uh, if the clause has any other verb different uh, from be, we add ing. Like, for example, this. Uh, I was I was telling you about uh, this one. For example, here we have uh, this one. This is a reduced adverb class, like this one. After conducting, look, after we conduct, it's a full phrase, after we conduct. How about here? After conducting, hey, what happened here, Caesar? Can you tell us what happened here? After conducting an SWT, blah, blah, blah. What happened here? Look, after we conduct. How about here? What happened? Can you tell us, please? The different it is uh, ING. Yeah, there is an ING. What else do you see in there, uh, Cesar? Okay. After conducting, we will know. Excuse, okay. What? If the clause has a form to bear to be, eliminates it. All right, we will eliminate. Uh, there, there isn't a verb being in this sentence. Yeah, there isn't. But uh, what do we do? Look, which of these uh, three things did we do? Eliminate the subject, uh, verb be, and add ing. What do we do here? We see after we conduct and here after conducting. Uh, let's ask for help. Let's ask for help. So, yes, um, please. Yeah, somebody, yeah. Somebody, somebody, try to. Uh, maybe the we, the we conductor. Oh yeah, we not. is gone. We is gone. So uh, we don't say after we conduct, but we say after conducting. Uh, an SWOT analysis, all right? So that's the change in here, after conducting. So we eliminate the subject. What's the subject in this sentence? The verb. What's the subject in this sentence? Is it after? Is it we? Is it we? Can... We, yes. We is the subject. So we just eliminate it, okay? Like, uh, for example, for example, uh, you, you can say after Pepsi launched, uh, Pepsi Blue, or after Pepsi, Pepsi uh, tested Pepsi Blue, they decided it was a good product. And then if we want to reduce that one, what do we do? Let's give it a try here. All right. So, for example, here. Pepsi. Uh, yeah, after testing or after 
Pepsi, yeah, after Pepsi tested Pepsi Blue, they launched it. They launched it. So how do we reduce this one? What's the subject in this sentence? What is the subject in this sentence? After? It's Pepsi. Yeah, the Pepsi. Pepsi, all right. So if we reduce it, how would it go? Uh, so we will say. After yes. testing. Yeah, that's it. After testing uh, Pepsi Blue. Pepsi Blue. Blue. Uh, they launched it. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue reading. Uh, <laughs> reading the examples here. Uh, so uh, let's. Um, yes. Uh, Mario. Or testing. Testing. Te no. Oy. testing. Oy. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Good. Thank you. Hey. So uh, let's ask. Uh, Andrea, let's mute your microphone. All right. So uh, let's ask, who do we ask? Shane, can you read this, uh, please? Can you read uh, this? The reduction. The reduction is only possible when the subject of this adverb clause and the independent clause are the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So the reduction is possible Unpossible only ones. when the subject is the same. Hey, look at my Pepsi example. Look at my Pepsi example. After Pepsi te uh, tested Pepsi Blue, they launched it. So, um, is a Pepsi the subject of uh, these two clauses? Is Pepsi the subject of these two clauses? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it looks like, right? So we can use it because it's the same, right? It's the same. But if we talk about something different, we can't reduce it. So, uh, uh, like like this, algo rarita, pero we we can do it. Threats, uh, they'll be like oh. what meaning threats? Threats, uh, threats are are like uh, dangers, risks. Okay. Yeah. yeah, or or what what people will call uh, amenazas, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, threats, and you say it like this, like uh, the Spanish uh, Z, así como los threats. españoles dicen la Z, the threats. 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 threats, threats, yep, all right, good, good. Uh, now, oh, look, let's, uh, let's read the next one. Let's ask uh, Camilla, Camilla, can you read the next sentence, please? Before, before the new product, project gets the green light, light, we still need a best threat from outside. Okay, all right. So before the new prod, uh, the new project, product, sorry, product project, it's the green light, the okay, the go. We still need to beat the threats from outside. So, uh, all right, look, now let's see if we can reduce this one. Can we reduce this one? Let's ask uh, Beatriz to read it, please. Before the yeah. new product project gets a green light, we still need to be right from the outside. Yeah, we still need to beat, right? We still need to beat the threats from outside. So, uh, look, look, uh, here, here we have a, here we have a, a sentence with two 
different subjects. Okay, so can we reduce these sentence, Aleida? Can you can you reduce uh, the clause in here? Is it possible? No. No, I don't. Those the subjects are not Subjects are That's true. Before getting green or before the new product gets a green light. So, what's the first class? What is the first class? Yeah, what's the first class? What's the first class? We. 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 All right. So, that is that is subject in there. All right. So, uh, so that's, that, that's the difference here. Hey, you guys, uh, let's see, let's see, let's make uh, let's more with examples of our on, all right? So let's, uh, let's use, let's uh, use the board, all right? And I want you to please give me more examples. All right, probably will not. Let's continue making these exercises. Uh, so look at this. Look at this. Uh, We're going to reduce these sentences and you are going to help me doing it. So, uh, so please let's take turns and uh, make and reduce the sentences when possible. And when it's not possible, please say it. So first, let's ask Andrea. Andrea, are you there? Having dinner? Andrea, are you there? Yes, I have. I here. Not having dinner. Not now. Okay, great. So, what about this one? Uh, can you read it, please, and then uh, reduce it, please. I can read. All right. Oh, you can't read it. Number one. All right. Number yeah, please. one. Yes, please go after ahead. The product, after the product development. Team finish brainstorming. It is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. 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 Uh, what's feasible? Uh, feasible is probably practical. Or uh, let's see. I'll put it here. Feasible. Feasible. Whoa. That's. Uh, probably practical or uh, applicable. In Spanish, po possible. Ajá, o, o como digamos... Eh, factible. Factible, that, that, that one, that one, that's the one, yes. That's the one. So practical, applicable, yeah, that's the one, yeah. So uh, now, is it possible to reduce this areas? What do you think? Yes. Can we, after mm -hmm. the ah. product development, the product? Yeah. Here, the, what's the subject in this one, guys? The product. The product, the product, product. development. The product development team. Okay, the team itself. Mm -hmm. The team itself, and uh, and uh, then. And how about here? It's, it is. It is essential. It is. Sorry. Yeah. That's the one. It. So they're different, right? So oh, probably okay. this one cannot be reduced because uh, it is essential to discard. Uh, to discard ideas is the subject here. So. Probably it's not possible. All right, great. Hey, let's ask uh, somebody else to read number two. So, um, Lillian, can you read number two, please? Lillian, are you here? Okay. Uh, before the manager listened to the weaknesses. Weaknesses. Yes, weaknesses. 
witnesses. Yeah, witnesses. Witnesses of the company as outside. Can I can read the picture? Uh, can you can see you it now? A little bit. <laughs> oh, let's zoom. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, witnesses of the company on outside have had. Uh, presented a new product to help uh, the company in Christ sales. Oh, very so. good. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, so, well, what about here? What about here? Uh, can we reduce this one? Question number one. Do we have the same subjects in both the independent and, depend and the dependent clause? Do we have the same subjects? Who is the subject here? The manager. Oh, yep. He that's the manager. The manager himself, baby. That's the subject. Right. He have for for me is the is the same. Yeah. Good for you. It's the same. Now, uh, can you reduce it? Before he making. Uh, no, before he make it, no, okay. Before he listen. Okay, yes, yeah. before he listen, listening. Listing, Listing. yeah. Listing, yes, yes. listing the witness of witnesses. the company, right. witnesses, witnesses of the company on a slide uh, and continue now. Yeah, you just continue. Okay. Uh, before he listing the witnesses of the company on slide, he had present new product to help the company. All right, that's good. That's good. So uh, that is a good example. So before listing, all right, listing. and yeah, before listing, before listing. Uh, the weaknesses before listing the weaknesses weaknesses sorry of uh, the company and blah 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 and so on he had uh, presented all right uh, he had presented the new products and so on the new products so uh here here we just uh we 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 can reduce it it's possible because it's the same subject jesus christ what happened here it's possible before uh because it's the same subject all right good uh this is in your manual we are on page Wait, we are on page uh, 15, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, let's read number three. Uh, let's ask, uh, let's ask uh, Samuel. Samuel, can you read uh, number three, please? Okay. Andrew kept text messaging while he has in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Okay, great. Great. Um, now let's ask uh, somebody. Hey, give me a name, please. Samuel, give me a name. Just anybody. Anybody in the list. Please. Elena. Uh -oh. Elena. <laughs> oh, he chose Elena. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Elena, can we reduce this one? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, how would it sound like? Can you tell me, please? How would this one sound like? Mm, you know, Andrew kept texting. Yeah, we know. Can we reduce it? Oh, this one might be a little tricky, isn't it? Andrew kept texting while he was in a video conference. Mm, this one looks a little complicated. Hey, need help? 
help? Aleida? I think it's not. It's not possible, but aren't we talking about the same people here? I mean, the same, uh, yes, the same Yes, 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 the same people, but yeah, first mm -hmm. uh, he texted and then uh, and when he received a video conference. All right, so let, let's imagine, let's imagine I am Andrew, okay? Let's uh, imagine I am Andrew. So look, Andrew is doing this, he's texting, and he is in a video conference. While uh -huh. means during. While means during. And uh, during means at the same time. Significa como uh -huh. al mismo tiempo. So he was in the, in the video conference, but he was texting. Okay? He was texting. So, uh, you can use you can use uh, while well while the video conference look let's follow this rule aquí vamos a seguir otra otra regla le voy a mostrar a ver uh, aquí dice oops uh, let's erase goodbye all right so aquí vamos a utilizar otra regla dice eliminate the subject if the clause has a form of the verb be eliminated. Okay, vamos a eliminar eso. Andrew keep texting while he was, he was in a video conference about the prototype. So you can say something like this. And I, I will start and you guys continue. So you can say uh, while in the Video, video what? Sorry. While video. in the video. In the video conference. In the, uh, all right, while in the video conference. Sorry. Conference. Uh, he. So he. He, what was he doing in the conference? What was he doing in the conference? He was? He texting. All right. Well, all right. Or messaging. He, all right. He kept. All right. He kept. Uh, sorry. He kept text messaging. Okay. He kept text messaging. So uh, looks like the clauses are backwards here. All right, the dependent clause is uh, is at the is in the is in the at the end. All right, so that's probably that's probably what happened here. Don't worry, um, teacher. Yeah, um, can be uh, can be Andrew keeping text message while he was in a video conference can be puede ser así la oración de sentence mm -hmm. while Listen. while in the video conference yeah while in the video conference so like, andrew andrew kept in text text messaging while yeah while in while in the video conference so yeah we can put this backwards too yeah we can Put this backwards like uh, like this I guess that's another option and it's okay so like for example uh, he kept text messaging and uh, here while in the video conference that's good great great that's good Jonathan so yeah we can do it this way and it's the same it significa lo mismo all right, so so that that's a good example. Hey, yo, next one. We still have another one to go. Oh gee, so um, what about this one? Andrew kept uh, the yeah. How about this one? Let's go through the next one. Uh, please, uh, Romulo, can you read this one, number four? 
many promising product ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Okay. All right, good. First, do you have any questions about vocabulary? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta del vocabulario, o sea, de las palabras que hay acá? Yes, for sure. What meaning of SWOT? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's uh, simple. Let's put it simple. SWT is the same, uh, is the same for the, uh, you know, like this one, for the, in this, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's like uh, the analysis of fortaleza, oportunidades, debilidades y amenazas, dijeron, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo, okay? All right, good. Thank Any you. other Welcome. Any other question about vocabulary, please? Uh, me, uh, weaknesses. Weaknesses. What's the meaning weaknesses? Weaknesses are things you oh, are man. not you're not good at. Okay. Like uh, for example, you can say, Oh, my weakness is uh listening. O sea, que tengo debilidades in listening, for example. Or my weaknesses are you know. Oh, probably my weakness is alcohol, right? You know, some people, some people who are alcoholic <laughs> have a weakness and their weakness is alcohol and that's their problem, all right? Okay. So that's a weakness. And some men have a weakness, a very strong weakness for women, like probably too much, but their weakness is women, okay? So that's, uh, that's weaknesses. All right, any other question? Any other question? I have a question and yes please rule it out yeah ruled out okay ruled out. uh to rule out is to is to eliminate so uh what this sentence is telling us is that uh product ideas are ruled out you know promising uh product ideas are eliminated you know forget about them after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. So if the ideas are not good, they just eliminate them. All right, well, let's ask, who do we ask now? Uh, let's ask uh, Shane to uh, tell us if we can reduce this or not. Can we reduce this one, Shane? Okay. <clears throat> can you can we reduce number four? Many promising product ideas. Yeah, I rule out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. In the SWOT analysis, yeah, you can also say the SWOT analysis. People understand it as SWOT. Like S W O T SWOT, yeah, people get it too. That's great. So uh, many pro uh, product uh, promising uh, product ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce. So we can reduce it, right? Mm -hmm. We we can reduce it. How? How so? How can we reduce it, Andrea? How can we, this, this one seems to be a really tough one. Many promising product mm -hmm. to produce positive result in the short, short analysis. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, all right, Let, let's, do, let's do this. We, uh, I'm gonna show you which one we are going to reduce. We're gonna reduce this one. This one is called the, uh, the dependent clause, okay? So, uh, so that's the one we are going to reduce, all right? That's the one we are going to reduce. So after, let's reduce this one, the one that's uh, signed, please. After failing, after 
to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Okay. Or you can, you can, yeah, that's it. That's how it sounds. So let's give the whole sentence, please. Uh, let's ask uh, Maria to give us the full sentence. Can you please? Okay. Uh, many promising product ideas. Yeah. Promising products, uh, product ideas. Are I rolled know. out mm -hmm. after after failing yeah after failing to to produce, produce positive results yeah blah 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 Pro produce positive results in the SWT analysis okay that's good mm, that's good very okay. good yeah that's how we reduce it so uh look we omitted they right the word they the subject they in there mm -hmm. all right good uh well uh let's check on more examples hey how about number five can somebody do number five let's ask uh let's ask omar to read it please omar can you read number five Omar, are you there? Oops, I think he's gone. So uh, let's ask uh, Camilla. Can you read, please? Okay. The, the weakness of company can be transformed into opportunities after a careful containment plan the ultimate and the design. Okay. So, yeah. After a conting uh, contingency plan, to alleviate them is designed. So, oopsie. Yeah, this one is a tough one, for real. So, uh, the weaknesses of a company can be transformed into a, into opportunities after a careful contingent, uh, contingency plan to alleviate uh, to alleviate them is designed. Can we reduce this one? Are we talking about two separate? Two different things are all one thing. Um, probably the same because uh, the company transform mm -hmm. after um, I don't know. I think it's the is the is the same. It's the same. And a plan or weaknesses mm -hmm. and weaknesses. Two or one and two different things. Mm, I think it's the same. I think it's the same. Sure. Yes. Uh, I think it's not the same. Uh, who who doesn't agree? Let's see. Me. Hey. Uh, all right. So uh, tell us how would it go? Let's read this one, please. Number six, and then we are gone. Please go ahead. Before, before you present a new idea to the manager, you yes. need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. All right. Well, let me ask you can we reduce this one? Yes. yes. Yes, we can. Before presenting. Before presenting. Yes. Presenting. Good. You. All right. Yeah. Good. Well, let's do it. If we can, let's do it. So we go like this. Before. Before presenting. Okay. Before mm -hmm. presenting a new idea yeah. to the manager. Okay, before presenting a new idea, oh, there, there are messages in the chat. A new idea to the manager. Uh, yeah, you need, you need 
a detailed list of costs and benefits. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Well, uh, you guys. Now, uh, this is as to you know as to like uh, management and and the and the and the products. Okay. We can also you know use these uh, types of sentences for uh, for. How do you call it for uh, for real life examples too for other types of examples, but we'll go over that later. Uh, let me run attendance before we continue. So please uh, get ready to reply with your name when you when you're here, right? When I mention you. So just a second. Preface. All right, just a second, guys. Click on this. So let me just uh, get that ready, and uh, please respond with the present if you are in the class. Yeah, somebody's kid is a bit. Is a bit hyperactive, which is okay. Just a second, guys. All right, good. So uh, please respond with the present if you're here. Jose, Jose, hey, Jose is not here today. That's not okay, it's surprising. All right, let's continue with the rest. Just give me a second. All right, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, good, good. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, next. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegria. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegria. Okay, great. Three last names. Interesting. Okay. So that's uh, Gloria Beatriz. Okay, got you. All right, very good, very good. Uh, let's see, Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez. Jonathan? I'm here, I'm okay. here. Okay, got you. Thank you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez. Okay, got you, thank you. And uh, Andrea Elizabeth Siguenza. Andrea Elizabeth Singuetza. Beauty check. Got you. All right. Thank you. And uh, Camila Calles Minero. Camila. Present teacher. Hi. Okay. All right. Got you. 20 is in. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, finally. All right. Great. Thank you. Hey. Uh, we will. Teacher. Yes. Falto yo. Really? Didn't I mention you? All right. Let me see. Elias, Elias, Elias. Let me see. Just a second. Let me double check here in the list. Hey, 
Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. See, aquí está. Aquí está. Number 16. That's why. Elias Samuel Orellana Perez. That's the one, right? Elias Samuel Orellana Perez. Okay. Check. Great. Well, hey, now let's do this. Let's do this. So, uh... So let's let's do this. Uh, we are going to continue working with. Uh, all right, great. So we'll continue working with these uh, type of phrases, and I want you to please uh, make some of these sentences with your classmates. We'll work in small groups like this. So I will give you some prompts, like for example, after breakfast. Okay before going to bed and uh, let's see after lunch okay uh, another one let's think of other 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 activities okay before before work okay and uh, let's see another one after work after uh wake after you wake up okay after wake up okay and uh that'll be it so what we are going to do is this you are going to ask your classmates what do you do for example after breakfast what do you do before going to bed what do you do after lunch? And you tell your classmate, oh, after lunch, I take a nap. Or after lunch, I watch TV. All right? So we're going to give uh, sentences about the things we do, all right? About the things we do at these times. So don't forget them, all right? We'll work in, uh, in small groups. We'll work in small groups and ask uh, these questions. So let's try an example, please. Uh, let's ask. Uh, let's ask Mario. Mario, can you ask a question to anybody, please? Okay. Um, let me see. Who, who is Jonathan? Okay, good. So ask, ask Jonathan. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do after lunch? After I lunch? After I have I, lunch? I, after I have lunch? Um, sometimes I walk or I, I see a uh, what? The news. I watch the news in, on TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. Good. All right. How about now? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I think uh, my computer was about to crash. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah. I said, let's work in groups. All right. Let's work in small groups. So, uh, do I have to repeat what we have to do? Do you remember what we're doing? Do you remember what we're doing? 